Was this something I actually even ordered? This dress literally looks like it's been stitched together by a person who was doing it in the dark and didn't know how to use the sewing machine. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Wish, but this is a no from me. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So today, I'm doing yet another wedding related video. As you guys know, I got engaged last year. I have the ring on my finger to show for it. And because of that, I've been doing quite a lot of wedding related videos, in particular, wedding dresses videos. Today, I'm gonna be trying out some more dresses from Wish because wedding dresses are very expensive. Let me just tell you, I've done quite a lot of videos on this topic, trying out dresses from places like ASOS or eBay and those kinds of websites and Let's just say they can be quite pricey. In today's video, we're gonna put to the test some very affordable dresses that you can get from Wish because I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Wish website. There is a lot of wedding dresses on there and very often I will see such a gorgeous dress and I'll literally think to myself, like I could actually see myself wearing that to my wedding. And then you look at the price and it's like 13 pounds and you're thinking to yourself, that is too good to be true. So for today, I ordered a bunch of different dresses that are ranging from like 10 pounds and under all the way up to like 17 pounds and we're just basically gonna put them to the test and see if they're worth the money. If you guys are brand new to my channel and you guys don't I don't really know the backstory of like how I got engaged. Uh, I basically got engaged to my fiance Matt last year. He proposed to me in Iceland and we did actually vlog it. So if you guys haven't seen the proposal video, I will link it in the eye. We also recently posted on our vlog channel, Roxy and Matt, kind of a bit of an update about our wedding because I have been getting a lot of questions about when we're gonna get married because we have already been engaged for a year. So we did post a new vlog over on there kind of explaining like when we're gonna get married and also where because we have decided on a destination wedding. So if you guys wanna learn more about that, I will leave the link in the eye and the description. But without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay guys, so the first wedding dress I have is right here. I've actually opened all of the parcels. I haven't looked at the dress or anything, but when it came, I wasn't sure what it was. So obviously I needed to open it to see what it was. And indeed it was the wedding dresses. So I'm really, really excited to see what this first one is like. I have no idea which one this is gonna be either, so it's gonna take me a little minute to kind of figure out which one it is, because they are all white. Ooh, okay. Interesting. So this is what the first one looks like. As you can see, it is pretty much just sheer lace. I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, that is gonna be very sheer. Like, how are these little things gonna cover up my little boobies, I don't know. We then get to the bottom of the dress and it's quite long, but I know that it's not gonna go down all the way to the floor, like already it's just gonna be a very awkward length, which I didn't expect with any of them to be honest. Okay, so I've just had a look on my Wish account and to be honest, I actually can't tell which of the dresses this is meant to be because it doesn't look like any of them, which is kind of making me think like, was this something I actually even ordered or did they not have one of the dresses that I did order so they just sent me this one? I'm a little bit confused, but regardless, let's try this on and see how it fits. Okay guys, so this is the first dress and I've gotta say, this dress is just very disappointing to say the least. I mean, look how short it is. It is so short, it's like an ankle grazer. That is not cute. P.S. Excuse my heels, I'm just wearing some nude ones because I don't actually have any white ones. But yeah, this dress is just, just not the one. It's not so much about the skirt. The main thing that I hate about this dress is this part. Like, what were they thinking? I mean, these two things right here are supposed to sit on my chest to cover it up. But just for reference, this is the middle of each of my breasts. I'm literally having to wear a nude bandeau underneath this because you'd literally see everything. Like this is where my nipples are. Like can we, can we just take a moment? Like this would cover nothing. Not only are they weirdly positioned, but they also kind of just look like period pads for my armpits. Like they're basically rising up to my armpits. I just don't understand why the top half is like this. Like can you see this? It's ridiculous. I can't even pull this dress down like it's proper on. This is as far as it goes. It does not look like the photos and it doesn't fit right. So I'm giving this literally a zero out of 10. Great start of the video. Next. So now for the next dress we have this one right here. This one is a lot smaller than the first packet and the first dress was so short. So I literally don't even have high hopes for this one. So this is what it looks like in the packet. It is very lacy from what I can see. Please be a good one. Please be a good one. 
Ooh, yes, I think I know which one this is. <gasps> This is cute. I mean, right from the start, let's just say this is definitely not exactly how it looked in the photo. It just doesn't look anywhere near as good quality, but the gist of the dress is definitely there. This one seems to actually be quite long and I feel like it will have a tiny bit of a train as well, which I think is very difficult to come by on Wish. I don't know what it is, but a lot of the wedding dresses and prom dresses on Wish, they never have that super nice princess-like train. They always are quite short. Sure. I mean, they are all very affordable, so I don't really expect amazing things from them, but this is what this one looks like. It's kind of fishtail. It's got a bit of a bodycon sort of style to it. I actually quite like the lace on it as well. I don't think it's too tacky. And I love the straps. I like the fact that they just go into like pure lace. I mean, you guys, this dress was only nine pounds. I feel like that's as good as it's ever gonna get for a wedding dress, if this is actually nice. So I really, really like this on the model. I don't know if it's gonna look as good as it did in the photos, but let's try it on and see how it fits. Okay, this one, I'm not gonna lie, is actually kind of cute. Look at this. It actually looks like the photo. And it's even got a bit of a train. I'm sold. This looks so elegant. It looks very simple. It is a tiny bit sheer from what I can see in the mirror. I think the reason why it works is because it is so simple. Like there's not really much to it. I absolutely love the back. I just think that sheer back looks really elegant and very expensive, even though it wasn't. There is a tiny bit of excess fabric around the sort of like armpit boob area, but it's not the end of the world. It's not that big of a deal. I think I'm gonna give this like a seven out of 10 because I could actually see someone wearing this to a wedding, no joke. Okay, the next dress we have is very big. So I'm hoping that this is actually gonna be decent and it's gonna be quite long and thick. Basically all of the things you want from a wedding dress. Ooh, okay. Oh, there's two dresses in here. Wait, there's three dresses in here. That's why. Oh my God. Look, one, two, and three. I don't know why I thought that was gonna be three different dresses, but hey ho, we've got three dresses here. The first one I'm gonna try out is this one. This looks very interesting. It has like stars on it. Anyways, this is what the next dress looks like. I can't seem to find a single dress out of all the dresses I bought on Wish that has stars all over it. So this is a little bit strange. I mean, I would never go for a wedding dress that has like stars on it. I think that's a bit weird. Like floral is okay, but stars, really? But this is what the dress looks like. It has this sheer mesh kind of panel at the front. It then goes into this very plungy V-neck. It has a lot of layers from what it seems and it looks very pretty. Would I wear something like this for my wedding? Absolutely not. I just don't think it's wedding appropriate. It does look very cheap. Like all of the edges of, <laughs> of the mesh just looks like it's been cut with scissors and not even good scissors, like blunt scissors. It also has a little bow on the back, which is basically just the cherry on top of the cake, really. I mean, I can't say I'm impressed with this dress. It kind of just looks like a rag. I'm really sorry, Wish, but this is a no from me. Oh my God, I've literally just realized what dress this is meant to be. <sighs> this dress looks nothing like the original. Here is an expectation, here is the reality. I'm just putting it out there. I don't think anyone could wear this to their wedding. I don't think anyone could even wear this to a birthday party or a beach party, no kind of party. This should just not be worn outside. This dress literally looks like it's been stitched together by a person who was doing it in the dark and didn't know how to use the sewing machine. <laughs> That's so bad, but it's actually true. Like it's so badly stitched everywhere. I see where they were going with it. Like it could have been cute. It had potential. This is what it looks like from the back. I'm gonna have to give this dress a like a one, a one out of 10. It's a little bit better than the first one, but it's still awful. The next dress is this one right here. So it has a bit of lace. It has a bit of nude mesh kind of fabric as well. Again, I don't know what this is gonna be, so let's crack it open. <gasps> Wait. Oh. Oh, look at this. Wait, do I like it or do I not like it? <laughs> I'm kind of confused. Is it, is it nice? I can't, I literally can't tell until I put this on, I think. This is one of these dresses where it kind of looks like it could have potential, but 
it could be game over as soon as I put it on. This does kind of look like my nan's tablecloth, but that's okay. We're gonna roll with it. It has this like weird mesh kind of fabric that's supposed to, I guess, sit here. I do think this will go all the way down to the ground as it is quite long, but I don't think it's gonna have a train at all. All right, so this is the next dress and I'm kind of on the fence about this one. I actually kind of like it. I don't know, I mean, it looks very similar to the photo now that I've got it on, because it sits all nice and, you know, this part here is very similar to the original dress. This one doesn't have a train, as you can see it is quite a short dress, but it's still really pretty. In fact, it actually has the perfect length, even with my heels on. It just clears the floor so it's not going to drag too much. It actually fits really nicely around my waist and my hips. There is a slight bit of bag, but I mean, you could totally get it tailored. Why not? This is what it looks like from the back. I couldn't manage to do it up all the way, but you can kind of get the idea. It looks really nice from the back. I actually don't think this is a bad dress at all. The quality is actually a lot nicer than some of the other dresses I've tried already. So I'm going to give this like a 7 out of 10. I actually quite like this one. The next dress we have is this one they all pretty much look the same in the packet I'm not gonna lie this one looks a little bit more promising can you guys see this it has like actual fabric and then the lace is kind of like embroidered on so let's take a look oh my god wait I think this might be nice. I actually think this might be nice. So the straps, I absolutely love already. They're kind of like clear spaghetti straps, which I love. I love anything strapless for weddings. I just think it looks so classy. It does have quite a long plunge. This is the only thing that kind of puts me off it. I mean, I think it looks absolutely beautiful, but do I really want like my family, my grandma, my dad? Do I want those kinds of people looking at my boobs? Probably not. So I don't know if I would ever go for something as plungy as this for my actual wedding dress, but it looks very beautiful on and on the website, it just looked so gorgeous. But let's try this on and see if it looks anything like the photo. As I said, I just knew I would love this. The only thing that I don't really like about it is the fact that it is quite sheer even though I'm wearing like a nude kind of two-piece underneath that you can kind of still see the outline of it which I don't really like. In general though the actual dress and the fit of it is stunning. I really like this and it does have a slight train to it as well. This part here I think is beautiful. Again it's not for me. I probably wouldn't wear something like this to my wedding because it is quite out there and it is quite risky. It's not exactly the same as it is with the original. I think the original also has like a slight bit of detailing here. It doesn't just kind of cut off in like a rectangular manner like it does with this. But this is still a really pretty dress and considering how little we paid for this, if you are on like a major budget, I feel like you could make something like this work. Like I don't think this is a bad dress. I think this is actually a wearable wedding dress. I didn't think I would find that in this haul at all. I really didn't think I would, but this is actually really nice along with one of the previous ones. I mean, this isn't like a 10 out of 10 for me by any means, but I am gonna give this like an eight out of 10 because I do actually quite like it. All right guys, and the very last dress of this video is this one right here. I have no idea what this is gonna be still. I did order quite a few dresses, but a lot of them didn't actually come yet. So I'm probably gonna be filming another one from Wish soon. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know down below. <gasps> oh my God, that is beautiful. Look at that. Is this really from Wish? No way. <laughs> the amount of detail, whoa. Like look, look at all the lace. That's so beautiful. So I'm just looking at the photo of this one and this one was actually a lot more expensive. This was 17 pounds on Wish. And I've got to say, just by paying that a little bit more, those couple more pounds, I can definitely see a big drastic difference in the quality. I mean, don't get me wrong, the quality still isn't amazing, but like the mesh, it doesn't look like it's been cut with blunt scissors. And you can see that with the length, this dress is actually gonna have a little bit of a train at least. So I'm actually really excited to try this on. I'm just looking at the back of the dress and the back of it looks like this. It doesn't actually have the same pattern as it did in the photo, but the front looks pretty much identical to be honest. Here is the next dress. This is absolutely stunning. I didn't think this would look this good on. It actually fits. 
around my chest, which is great. The fabric on the bottom isn't see-through whatsoever and it feels quite nice and thick, so that's really awesome. This is what it looks like from the back. Obviously, if you're a little bit more daring, you wouldn't wear a nude bandeau underneath, but because this is quite plunge, I decided to wear that underneath because I don't want to flash you guys. But this is so beautiful. I'm just obsessed with this detailing. I love how this mesh sort of fabric right here is just absolutely see-through so you can't see it. The only thing I find funny about this dress is that these bits right here aren't actually attached to this part which I think is a little bit weird because I just think it would look a little bit more, you know, put together if it was. This dress does actually have a train, which I think is really cool. And yeah, I think this looks really nice. It looks way more expensive than what we paid for it, that's for sure. Once again, this is what it looks like from the back. I really like this one. I think I'm gonna give it like a six out of 10. All right, guys, so those were all of the different wedding dresses that I'm gonna try out for you guys today from Wish. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely did. I just love trying on wedding dresses. I don't know what it is about wedding dresses, but it's just so fun trying them on. I kind of just feel like a princess. Like I said, I did order a bunch of different ones from Wish and not all of them arrived. So if you guys would like to see a second part of this video, then let me know down below if you would. And if there is any other websites you would like me to try wedding dresses from, let me know in the comments as well. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.